Are you looking for a turnkey data transfer solution with better bandwidth and minimal manual overhead? Hey, I'm Cameron Simpson, an applications engineer with Yokogawa Test and Measurement, and today I'll be going over how the 10 gigabit Ethernet option on the DL950 fits that role and makes capturing and recording high-speed data seamless and convenient. This option simplifies the process by allowing you to record at 50 times the speeds of traditional Ethernet and USB connections. What would take multiple steps of saving the high-speed data locally, then manually transferring that data to your PC, is now a single step of pressing record in IS8000. I'll begin by listing what you'll need to set up your connection, then I'll move on to how to set up the hardware and device settings to begin communicating. For the best performance, ensure that your DL950 and IS8000 versions are up to date. Links for both of these updates will be provided in this video's description. To begin setting up your connection, you'll need to gather a few items. This setup will require an SFP Plus optical transceiver module for each point of the connection and some 10G Base R multi-mode optical fibers with LC type connectors. You can purchase the SFP Plus modules and optical fibers from a third party vendor. For our demonstration, we'll be using Finisar and Sonnet SFP Plus transceivers and 10G Tech optical fibers. The PC you're connecting to will also need an SFP Plus port for your optical transceiver module. For our connection today, we'll be using Thunderbolt 3 to SFP Plus adapter from Sonnet. The first thing you'll need to do when setting up your connection is to insert the optical transceiver module into the SFP Plus port on your DL950. This port is located on the left-hand side of your unit towards the rear. Position the module so that the TX and RX markings on the instrument align with the arrow in and arrow out on the module and push the module inwards until you feel a light click. Be careful not to damage the electrical terminals, and if you feel too much resistance, remove the module and try again. Now remove the dust cover from the module and lock the pull handle into its closed position. You can then remove the protective covers from the ends of your fiber and plug them into the inputs of the transceiver. Then repeat this process on the PC side of the connection. Now that we've got the hardware set up, we'll adjust the network settings on the DL950. First, press Utility, then press the Remote Control Soft key. Then select Device and press Network. Now select Interface and choose 10G so that your device will expect connections from the 10G Ethernet port. To reach the Network Setup menu, press Escape until you're back in the Utility menu and select the network and TCP IP 10G soft keys. In this menu, you can set the IP address of your unit as well as the subnet mask and default gateway. If you are connecting this device to a network with a DHCP server, then you can enable the DHCP to automatically obtain this information from your network. Otherwise, leave DHCP off to manually adjust your settings. Press Find to apply your settings and close this menu. From your PC, Launch IS8000 and open a new DAC connection. Ensure you have the Ethernet connection selected, choose High Slip from the Wire drop-down menu, and input the IP address of your DL950. Press Search and select your DL950 from the Results window. Next, you'll see the main window of the DAC function in IS8000. Pressing the Channel Setting button, you can add channels to the display, adjust channel display groups, and change the display data format. After pressing Next at the bottom of this menu, you can see the display time, file divide settings, and start and stop conditions for your recording. We'll be using the manual start and stop for this demonstration. Lastly, you can set the file destination for your recorded data. When you've finished adjusting these settings, press Open to apply them and open the IS8000 window. In the device control window for your DL950, you can set the maximum sample rate of your DL950 to your desired speed. You can then adjust the sample rate of each channel below that maximum in the channel control window. Sampling speeds of 10 mega samples per second are only possible when using the 10G connection. The ribbon will now show the options for controlling the measurement. To begin recording, go to the control tab in the monitor ribbon at the top. The ribbon will now show the options for controlling the measurement. Press REC to begin recording. Please note that when you use the start button to begin monitoring the measurement, the data is not being recorded unless you also press REC. While this measurement is running, you have the option to perform a manual file division if you selected that option in the DAC settings menu earlier. Now we'll manually stop the recording, 
stop the monitoring, and verify that our measured data is now saved to our PC storage. That's all for today's demonstration. Please check out the manuals on our website for more information on setting up the devices used in this video. Additionally, links to the updated versions for the DL950 and IS8000 can be found in this video's description. For more information, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com. Thank you for watching.